fighting the. Yeah, yeah. You both received the same instruction. I expect you to protect yourself at all times, keep your punches up, and give me a good, clean break. Touch gloves and good luck. It's great to want to be great. Floyd Mayweather believes he is, and many observers also believe that. Gaddy wants to find out if he is. In his last fight against James Leha, Arturo Gaddy was throwing more than 40 jabs per round. Yesterday he told us, my jab is the key to the fight, but I'm not going to be jabbing Floyd to the head. You watch me jab him in the upper chest, on the shoulders, and particularly, I'm going to hit that front shoulder with my hook so many times, his arm's going to fall off. As for Mayweather, he's been fighting many of his recent fights up close in the pocket, where he's very hard to hit because of his elusiveness and very solid with that straight right hand. And you just saw him rake Gaddy with the straight right and follow it with the left hook. Yeah, Gaddy started out with a jab good, but he's so much slower than Mayweather that it's hard for him to catch up with, with Mayweather. Mayweather hooked him off his jab already. And, and the difference in hand speed is immediately apparent. Gaddy with a right uppercut. Gaddy says, Floyd hasn't felt power like mine. Every time I hit him, I'm going to hurt him. Mayweather says, sure. Sure he is. That straight right hand already appears to have done a, a modicum of damage to Gaddy's left eye, which has a red spot around it. And into the hey, corner. Come on. Let's back it. There's no place in the ring where Floyd isn't comfortable. What did the referee stop the action for just then? I have no idea. And Earl Morton is known <laughs> in the past hey, as a referee hey, who lets people fight. But it's a big event. Maybe everybody's a little nervous. Whip left hook by Mayweather. Gaddy trying to make that jab a factor. He's been a little more reticent to throw in the last minute after getting raked in the first minute. Good left hand by Gaddy. Stops Mayweather's right. And his jab just offset one of, one of Mayweather's combinations there, so it's smarter him to use his jab. But Mayweather's using his too. Gaddy fainting before he throws the jab and fainting as he comes in, trying to set up a right hand. Arturo feels he needs to land something solid early to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits Arturo with a left on the break, and now there's a knockdown in round one. And Gaddy can't believe that. Six, seven, eight. Come on, Gaddy. Let's go. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. You gotta protect yourself at all times. But that's when the make a call that ain't really called. That's why I had when he came in and stopped before earlier. All right, here you see Floyd jump in with a hook. Uh, got it, got low. His head's on. Got it. He hit him first by way down. The referee comes like he's gonna come in. He's waiting for the referee to say something. About him. Hit him while he's down like that. And Floyd hits him with another hook. I can't but, blame Mayweather. He took advantage of the opportunity that was presented to him. He's in supposed a professional to. Way. He's supposed to. There I was agree, an absence but of I thought the referee could have stepped in. He should have with the head was on the neck. And the arm was on the neck. Gaddy got nowhere near Mayweather's body in round one. Quick left hooks by Mayweather, forcing Gaddy to keep his right hand in. The bad thing about, uh, about this pace, I think, is that this favors Mayweather. Mayweather appears willing to take some risks when he gets inside. And again, the hand speed advantage readily apparent in the first two rounds. Floyd able to beat Arturo to the punch from distance and able to land two or three to Arturo's one when they get in close. Three punches there. 
Gaddy seems off stride. Roy well, doesn't seem sure of what he wants to do. No, he's not sure because his speed. He used to guys being able to hit when he throws these big punches, but Florida's not there. Florida's defense is exceptional, and people didn't understand that. Here's a body shot. Left hook to the body. First time that Gaddy's had a chance to throw to the rib cage. Left hook grazed Gaddy's chin, and another big left hook catches him slightly. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed. Maybe too much power, too. Entirely too much speed. And if Gaddy lets him sit, out, sit outside and box at this pace all night, he'll pick him to death like this all night. Gaddy's going to have to sell out to get inside. There's no way he can win the fight fighting at range like this. No way possible. Come on, Thank you. Walk it out, walk it out, walk Swelling it out. Swelling under both of Gaddy's eyes. Gaddy brought back his old cut man, Joe Souza, after Souza, showing loyalty to the fighter he had first worked for, switched to James Lehigh in the last fight. After some initial anger about it, Gaddy said, hey, I gotta appreciate Joe for his loyalty, and he's done great work for me. He certainly has. And he may need to do great work again tonight. Oh, the glove. Huge left hook. And the straight right. Arturo hasn't really landed anything big in the first two rounds. It's been a landslide for Floyd Mayweather. At this rate, it's hard to imagine Gaddy lasting into the late rounds. It's it very place. difficult to find any. Four out of 42. Mayweather, 27 out of 47. If it was an election, they'd project the winner right now. <laughs> In boxing, the hair usually beats right, the tortoise. Just walk it right out. Just walk it right out. I said walk it. Harold Letterman okay. has scored 10-8 in each of the first two rounds. That's how big a landslide the second round was in Letterman's view, because there was no knockdown. Still, he scored at 10-8. I scored it a 10-9 round. I did, although Mayweather clearly won it, I don't think he inflicted that much damage. The hand speed is making it very difficult for Gotti to get anything started right now. He got in a good low blow, and he may need it. Earl Morton asking Gaddy to keep him up. Earl Morton's only refereed five world championship fights, and his inexperience may have contributed to the confusion in round one. Gaddy acknowledged to us yesterday that he didn't expect to win the first four rounds. But surely he expected it to be more of a fight than this. Mayweather really is on point tonight. He's very sharp. He's not allowed Gotti to make no mistakes. Every mistake that Gotti makes just about, he's capitalizing off of it. And Arturo Gatti's right Box. eye Stop. is swelling Stop. badly. Come on, let's go. Box. Now Morton stops Mayweather and says, you keep him up. Thank God he landed a pretty good right hand then. Didn't seem to have no effect on Floyd. Gaddy is very protected with his right hand. Mayweather's been so quick with the left hook. Mayweather sticks a jab. He's landing more or less at will in these first three rounds. There's a vicious right hand over the top. And another one just for good measure. The crowd trying to rouse Gaddy. But so far, Mayweather has taken the crowd out of the fight. Most of them apparently stunned right by the right utter one-sidedness of it so far. Yeah, Gotti can't beat him at this at this distance or this pace for sure. Floyd can do this for three years. Time! 
Gotta stay in your corner. Stay in your go back and stay in your corner, man. Let's go. Well, you saw the overwhelming copy box numbers through round three. They throw about the same number of punches. One guy lands 20, the other guy lands 70. Harold, how do you have it so far? <laughs> okay, Jim. Three to nothing, 30 to 25. Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I gotta tell you something. I gotta talk about that first round. Now listen, boxing has got rules just like any other game. If the referee doesn't yell, stop or break, okay? And you stand there looking at the referee. Floyd Mayweather had every right to hit on Duro Gatti and knock him down. Martin did nothing wrong whatsoever. Gatti objected to the fact that Floyd grabbed him behind the head. But if you don't hear the referee yell, stop, I mean, Floyd can hit him. Three to nothing, Mayweather. Ah, bring it up, bring it up. Okay, that's it. Come on now. So Harold Stop, exonerates the referee and doesn't necessarily think he should have stepped in when Mayweather appeared to be holding Gaddy's head down. And there's a vote for Earl Morton in round one. We're well into the fight now, round four, and Arturo Gaddy, to my view, Roy, hasn't landed a single body punch. That's a very bad sign. And that's what Freddie just told him. You're not going to the body. You all hear her, and that's because of his fans in here. It's getting brutal in there as Mayweather fires at win. Oh, oh. oh. A tattoo I've got is taken right now. A heavy tattoo. One day he won't be able to respond to it like he does in normal fights because the won't be that fun to respond to it. You don't get the sense that any one a punch by Mayweather is hurting Gaddy yet, but the numbers of them are. It's just discouraging to him because everything he does, he gets hit seven times. That left eye is starting to close. He can't seem to get away with no punches anymore. It's got to be discouraging, but you got to give him credit for the heart because he's still trying his hardest. Yes, tremendous heart. But it, it's hard to see how he has a clue about landing anything big or effective. And that was what the game plan was supposed to be about. Landing big shots. Here you see Floyd landing a straight right hand, left jab, another straight right hand, another left jab, another straight right hand, just just did miss and follow with a hook at the end. He hit got it with everything he throws at him anytime he gets ready. The problem Gaddy is having is that at close quarters, Mayweather sees everything coming and his hands are so fast that Gaddy doesn't have a chance to respond. I don't know when I've seen more one-sided copy box numbers. Mayweather 32 out of 60 in that round. Gaddy 5 out of 37. Larry, you probably saw a lot of the action between Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta. Was it ever this one-sided? Well, I don't go quite back that far. I don't remember that. But LaMotta was extremely strong and uh, could come forward uh, through some of Robinson's punches. There Gaddy gets in a left to the body. His best and most purposeful punch so far. And after taking all the punches he's taken, for him to come and still be throwing shots like that says a lot about Gaddy, son. Ah, stop! Well, there's an old phrase about the guts of a burglar. Come on. I doubt there's a burglar That's alive who has right, the guts of Arturo Gaddy. Don't hold his hands, Lord. You know, everybody remember, remembers in history Robinson Lamata, but, you know, uh, Willie Pep had a great deal of uh, trouble with a fighter who just jumped in on him and gave him all kinds of, uh, of problems. So sometimes speed can be neutralized, but Gaddy hasn't shown that he can do it yet. Sandy Sadler was the fighter I was thinking of who I believe beat Ge Pep three out of four. But uh, Gaddy has been unable to, to upset 
uh, Mayweather at all. He's been unable to get in close and rough him up. Stop, stop, stop. Don't put the forearm in his face, okay? Okay, let's go. Box. See, Floyd taking his time, trying to let a little bit, a little bit of punch, but it's soak in on, on what's on uh, got it. And he's trying to catch him with a big shot. I hope you heard him when he's not expecting it. Giving Gotti fans a chance to see something what they came to see. Straight right hand by Mayweather twists Gotti's head around. Crashes another straight right hand right off of the Gotti noggin. Gotti's had a couple moments of competitiveness in this round, but as as Roy Jones suggests, Mayweather may simply be allowing him to open up to create opportunities. Right hand across the top, just missed for Gaddy. Right hands by Mayweather land like lasers. Ah! At this rate, the question is. Here you see that, like we said earlier, one straight right hand. Jab, jab, another straight right hand, another hook. I mean, just five and six punch combinations at a time. Got to carry nothing about it. Totally a mismatch on, match, mismatch on hand speed. Totally a bad fight for Tio Gata, which I said from the get-go. But let's see what happens. Again, I don't know when I've seen more one-sided punch stat numbers. Gaddy has landed eight out of 47 power punches thrown through the fifth round. Mayweather's landed 81 of 141. So every time Floyd lands power punches, in bunches, he is putting greater distance between himself and Arturo Gatti. Mayweather wearing winning gloves, an Asian-made glove which Emmanuel Stewart called pillows on our air. He thinks they'll help protect his brittle hands, which have oft been broken in the past. Gatti's wearing Everlast, the conventional brand. He breaks his right hand virtually every time he fights. In case you're wondering whether Mayweather will get tired, he sometimes spars 10 or 15 minute rounds with different sparring partners moving in to increase his stamina. Too much hands. Oh, final shot. Final shot. Hurt, 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 I'm wondering if he shouldn't throw in the towel. Yeah, by the side, I heard it real bad then. This is humiliating. Floyd Mayweather promised exactly this. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gatti before his fans. I can't understand who wouldn't see this, though, before it happened. Much of the crowd is on its feet in awe of the display that Mayweather's putting forth. How in the world can Gaddy keep taking it? We didn't stop this because he's done. The mass middle Roy Jones passed on the fight. And I mean just I one guy totally out of pants. Not gonna land in the punch because he's floor. not fast enough Come to on. put the big punch on Floyd Mayweather. Very difficult to watch. Daddy landed a little left hook. Mayweather knocked him halfway across the ring with his own vicious left hook. Oh, Why would anybody continue? That was a 10 eyes are closed. You can't see. Hey, what's up? Don't hit him in the body. I'm not sure Buddy McGurk wants to let him come back out. What's happening, baby? What's happening? They're stopping it. They're stopping it, Mike. And thank heaven.
It's been over. No more, baby. No more. I'm glad they stopped. Your eyes closed. Your eyes closed. I'm glad they stopped. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy TKO Virtuoso victory for Floyd Mayweather. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Brilliant, brilliant performance. God is great. Now here's the problem. Who in the world will fight him? There are some guys that will fight him. Guys with better speed, better footwork, have a better chance at fighting. When they announced this fight, you know when you first asked me about this fight, I told you, if I had got, I would put him nowhere near a ring with Floyd Mayweather. It's the wrong fight for him.